All right, welcome back. I have decided that we are going to do our deorbit burn because I'm pretty much lined up with getting back to KSC if I do it now. So, uh, okay. That'll put us in the water kind of by KSC. Oh, hey, hey, no. Okay. I really wanted to, I could go ahead and adjust my inclination, but I gotta think which one I gotta adjust it by. But that's about 15 minutes. Okay, so you should be pretty much right over where we're at. Alright, so while I got a bit of time here, let's cancel that out. I wanna go ahead and. No, I did not want to do that. I want to grab the data out of these modules, just in case something crazy happens during the landing. So... Oh, what? I can't grab the data? Here we go, click that in. Oh, okay, I was open... I was, eh, that's not what I want to do. Okay, so the magnometer... I would, I cannot grab the data out of it. This is a side effect of having Kerbal Attachment System, but I should have gotten the Kerbal Attachment System uh, patch for Universal Storage, so I shouldn't have to worry about grabbing it rather than transferring stuff out of it, so I don't know what the deal is. Minor irritation. If I had a transmitter, I could just transmit that stuff off, but I don't. Alright, time accelerator way out of here. Oh, Bob seems to like the flight. Let him grab that report. If I was so inclined, I'd go ahead and grab the, uh... That looks like something shiny over there. Let's get going. That's not too bad. I'll go ahead and pop that chute now. Because that was KSC right over there. Oh no, it's not. Dang, that was pretty close. Hey! That's practically on the green. I like that. I thought I was seeing some white artifacts and I thought it was the actual space center. Nope. That's the space center. That's not bad for a polar orbit. And I still got engine propellants left over. I can go ahead and slow this thing down and do a soft landing. Hooray. Let's go ahead and start that now. Oosh! Lots of water everywhere. Alright, now... Yeah, I got that stuff ready. Alright, so, very good, Bob. Splendid. Let's see how he does. 158 science. Got some funds back for a pretty good value. And he advanced to level 1, so I guess going from directly from the pad to orbit and back is worth two experience the first time you do it. I don't think you can do it again. So now, I believe he gets us a little bit of, um, what you call it, science return rate. He improves our ability to get science. So if I had him and Jebediah together in flight, that'd be great. All right. I can get all three of these remaining tech levels. Or I could get one of these and one of these other ones here. So I could pick up some aviation lights. Uh, the Dan. 
some Mission Control 2 specific parts, better solar panels, some lights that I don't use. Oh yes, there we go. Water, gray water tank, waste tank, oxygen food bag. So I don't have to use the tech life support specific technologies to extend my stay. I can use the universal storage type units. Laser light imager, the bay, which I'm not ready for. I could actually attempt to make a plane. So tell you what we're going to do is we're going to unlock all these basic tech level 4 stuff and then we will worry about tech level 5 which will be fuel lines and cripple attachment goodies and some more ace parts. This should be absolutely more than sufficient to explore the moon. So when we come back Unless I got some cheap little technologies here. Yeah, let's do a cheap little test bed flight here because they're quick. Okay, here's how this works. I can even use a probe core! Alright, my life just got so much easier with the probe core. You have no idea how much easier it got. Alright, can I put you on the bottom? I sure can. And then we can test, what was the other one? TT-38K. You guys really want to test this thing? I guess, sure. If you're buying the equipment, no problem. Okay. Test bed one. Uh, any other free stuff I can do while I'm at it? Because, why not? Let me take a Science Junior scan while I'm... Here at the thing. Eh, we'll just call that good. That, that's fine. So, simple, cheap, nasty test bed setup. I love these test at land things. You just go to the pad and do a quick little derp mission and you're fine. So that got tested and that got tested and we're good. And I get that science and that science and I recover the vessel and it's all cool. It's cheap, it's dirty, I don't care. <laughs> I got some money back. Let's recover that for some cash. 83,000, 42 science. Not a lot of Reputation yet. But yeah. Oh, another one. Sure. Free money. Alright, so when I come back, I will attempt to do a lunar flyby with something. And if I'm feeling really adventurous, we will try to land. Because we still have that 18 ton limit to work against, and I don't know if a lunar landing is going to be totally feasible with 18 tons. I'm not that advanced of a player. So when we come back, we will do lunar stuff. Thanks for watching.